Hello everyone! So today we're going to be creating an NFT design in Canva. Now I'm not unfortunately going to be able to show you uh, what you can do with your NFT. The only thing that I can show you today is how to create an NFT design in Canva. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to go to the create a design um, button and click on custom size. I'd like to use a square for my NFT, so that would be 1080 by 1080. You can input any dimensions you want here. I'm going to click on create a new design and we're going to be routed to the main editing page. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go to the element section and we're going to type in whatever element we're looking for. Now, as for me, I'd like to use basic shapes um, and basically just free elements in Canva so that I can say stay on the safe side when it comes to Canva's um, policies. So I'm going to create an NFT using free basic elements as much as possible. So I'm going to type in here shapes. And I'm going to click on see all to view a lot more shapes that I could choose from. So maybe I could use this. By the way, I forgot to put a background color, so we're going to do that. We're going to select the page and we're going to go to the um, this color button tool right here and change it to whatever color you'd like. That should be okay. And let's see what other shapes we can use. Let's try to go back. And click on graphics to view a lot more options. We can try this one. And in order for you to get an idea about what I'm making, so I'm going to change the elements color. I'm going to click on them and click on the color button above and just basically change it to whatever color I'd like to use. I'd like to flip this one. Can we do that though? No. I'm just going to do this instead. And change it to whatever color I'd like to use. Send it backwards. And I think you already have an idea about what I'm trying to make right here. So basically we're trying to build a character from basic shapes. Maybe we could use that. Oh, so this is a photo element. We unfortunately cannot change it, so...
All right, so now we have our characters, basic frame. We're going to group all of it by selecting everything and by pressing Control plus G. And then we're also going to click on these on this three dot icon and then click on lock to lock it so that we don't accidentally move it around. Now we're going to add the facial structure to our character. So let's go ahead and type in circle once again and add this little circle over here. Let's zoom in so that we can see better and change its color. We're going to duplicate it and put the other eye on the other side. Now we're going to add a curve or look for a curve for the eyelashes. Let's try to look for something here with kind of like a pointy end. How about this one? Let's change its color to the same color of the eyes and properly position it. Um, let's flip it. Zoom in so that we can see much better. And then we're going to crop it. And we're going to duplicate it to add the... Um, lashes for the others. And let's see. Okay, great. We're going to add another circle by pressing C on our keyboard. And we're going to use it as a highlight for her eyes. There, we're going to copy it, paste it, position it over here, and maybe we could flip it. Unfortunately, we can't. Okay, now it's time to add the lips, so let's find another curve right here that we could use as her lips. Perhaps this one would do.
And let's change its color to something like this. Okay, now we're going to add a blush to her. So let's type in circle. And we're going to look for a circle that's something like this. And we're going to change its color. And adjust its transparency. As well as its size. And duplicate it and place the other one to the other side. And now we have our very own avatar. Now we can add decorations to her. So we're going to try to create kind of like a flower for her over here. So let's do that. We're going to add, oh, we're going to add another circle. Maybe this one will do. It's not so round. Just okay. Put it over here and change its color to something yellow and we're gonna look for blobs again perhaps we can find a petal shaped blob like this one oh it's too big we're gonna change its color to white And properly position it all around the circle to resemble a flower. We're going to send it backwards, duplicate it, and position it. Let's duplicate them first before we start sending, sending them to the back. Okay, now let's start sending them to the back. Oops, not that back. Okay, great. And then let's add more designs to the background. Okay, and basically, that's it. Once you're done with your design, you can go ahead and download it by going to the share button above. Go to download and select your desired file type. PNG is the suggested for pictures. And then tick all the other options right here. And once all of those things are done, go ahead and click on download. So basically, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.